Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. We want to introduce you to our daughter, Lily. Oh, look at her. She's like, oh. Say hey guys. Say hey guys. She's like, gang sign, <laughs> gang, gang, gang. She's like, what's up, dogs? What's up, dogs? Hey, my name's Lily. You know, my ear's right here. And my ears right here. <laughs> so, Chili gave birth to her on July 7th. Gave birth to the most beautiful baby. At 4.53 p.m. That's the time she was born. Oh, she's like, I don't like that I was born at that time. She's like, that's an ugly time. <laughs> she was like, why was I born at 7? I was born on 7-7, seven, seven, but I wasn't born at 7 p.m. She's like, are you serious? She's like, that's crazy. Look at those pretty eyes. She likes to play with her hands a lot, and she likes to scratch her face, so we have to put socks on her hands so that she doesn't... She's like, don't you touch me. <laughs> oh, goodness! Oh, bless you! Oh, sneeze. She's allergic to the camera. She's mm -hmm. like, I'm allergic to the haters. When Chili gave birth to Lily, it was me, her sister, and my mom were in the delivery room when Chili gave birth to Lily. And I have a lot of stories from that day, so maybe you can help me remember them. Okay. The day before Chili gave birth, we did that activating labor video. Chili played basketball. We did all these things to try to make her go into labor. And we ended up just falling asleep because nothing was working. And then Chili woke me up at 7 a.m. Oh, what is it? So we got in the car. We drove to the hospital. You guys saw that vlog of us driving to the hospital. We really wanted to vlog the whole thing because I want to look back, you know, when my daughter is like 18 and we can watch the videos together. So we get to the hospital. And it was nothing like I expected. I thought when you got to the hospital that they rushed you in the back real quick and they did everything. They completely ignored us for like 30 minutes while Chili was in pain. And so she's currently hurting. And that's the contraction. She's been having contractions and they're going to make us wait another hour. Because she's only two centimeters. And they had the student doctor come in. And I think it was his first day. Because... He did not know what he was doing. So Chili was two centimeters dilated for like a week. And they said that once she was three centimeters dilated, they would admit her. So the doctor came in and said, I think she's four centimeters. And then another nurse came in and said, no, you're definitely not four. You're mo I think you're only two. And they were about to send us home. And they told Chili they would send her home. You have one hour to, to get to three centimeters. Yeah, you have one hour to dilate more or we're sending you home. So I took pictures of the contractions. We'll show pictures right now. Like, so these were the contractions I was taking photos of. And so finally, they said, all right, we're going to admit you. And so there's a video of us walking into the labor and delivery. Yeah, so we've had a bunch of babies today. Mm -hmm. that are, you know, our other patient is a girl. You're not having a girl, so it is all girls. It's just a girl day, day And they finally get us into this room and I still didn't believe that she was going to go into labor today. I thought she was just having contractions and I was like, we're going to be here for a few days. Like I didn't think she was actually going to give birth like that day. So you end up coming to the hospital. Yes. Yes. And Chili's just laying on the bed, just having contractions and Chili really wanted an epidural. She was afraid of giving childbirth without the epidural. She didn't want to be in pain. So the anesthesiologist came in. I have a video of that and uh, Chili gets her epidural. And the anesthesiologist was really funny. He was making jokes the whole time. But Chili ended up having the biggest panic attack I've ever seen her have because after they gave her the epidural, she could still feel her legs and stuff. So anyway, they finally fixed the epidural problem and Chili ends up feeling good. I only had two hours of sleep. And so Chili was just laying on this bed having contractions. And I was like, well, I'm gonna go to sleep. So I fall asleep on this like little side couch by the bed. And then I wake up to the doctor breaking her water. He had like this tool, he broke her water. And when, when they broke her water, I said, oh my God, this is happening. <laughs> but then nothing happened. I think the doctor wanted to go home. It was 4 p.m. It was on a weekday. It was on a Thursday. So it was 4 p.m. He was like, it's time for me to go home. So he, he broke her water and he was trying to like hurry up to give birth. So I fell back asleep on the couch and I woke up to the doctor saying, oh, you're ready to start pushing. Let's go. And I, I, I got up and I was like, it's happening. Like she's going to give birth today. Like it's actually going to happen on the due date. Like we did so much. I didn't, uh, I was like, there's no way I was like shaking. And so the nurse was like, yeah. So the nurse starts like finger and puss. Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> no, the, so the nurse is like sticking her oh. fingers in there trying to stretch it out to help the baby come out. She's like, all right, every time there's a contraction, you push. And I learned something. I never knew that when a woman pushes during birth, I did not know she pushed on the contraction. So apparently you push during a contraction because your body's also pushing during a contraction. So like she'll have a contraction like every two minutes or every minute. So she has to push. Oh, what, what's wrong? She's like, okay. And so Chili was pushing really good for like 30 minutes. Like Chili was giving it her all. She was pushing really good for 30 minutes. And then the doctor came in to check the progress. <laughs> and it was the worst thing in the 
the world. He basically yelled at her. He was like, look, if you don't keep pushing even harder, we're going to have a C-section in an hour. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, he checked her. What like, this man put, oh, my gosh. Oh, the doctor came in. He put both hands in Chili's stuff. And he went, Ugh. He's not lying. Like, I'm talking, yes. he put both his, he put this much hand yes. in and opened it like this. Like, pulled it open and said, no, nah, you're not doing it. You're not. I, I just I elbowed enough. my cat. <laughs> he said, "You're not pushing hard enough. If you keep this up, you're gonna get a C-section." And he leaves the room pissed. Yeah. Like, yeah. Aww, oh, she doesn't baby. like that story. She's like, I don't like. It that. was me. Do you remember that? Yeah. Let me hold her while I tell the story. She wants me to. Hold her. Yeah. Oh goodness. So look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys a story while holding her. Okay. So yeah, he starts stretching her stuff open and was like, if you don't keep pushing, you're gonna have a C-section. And I'm like, she just started doing it. You've only been pushing for about 30 <laughs> minutes. So then I had to help Chili uh, push. So they got this like towel and I had to, we had to play like tug of war. So I'll put the pictures up. So like I would pull one side and Chili had to pull the other side. And us like us pulling the towel, like helped her, I guess, push the baby a lot. So that was fun. And then I, Chili was beating, I think Chili's stronger than me. Because if you notice, <laughs> if you notice, she's beating me. Like, I'm, like, like almost, like, falling over, and she's still pulling. And I was pulling as hard as I could. So if you would have let go of that, I would have flew and <laughs> broke every bone in my body. So after doing that for a while, then the head started coming out. And I have pictures of that, but I can't share that because that's going to be really bad. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can start seeing the head come out. And honestly, when I saw her head inside, her head only looked like it was this big. And I said, oh, she's going to be a little tiny baby. When she came out, it was this big. <laughs> I know, that's like, crazy. Like this, I saw this come out. Like I, I recorded the whole thing. I thought in childbirth, it, it wasn't bloody at all. It wasn't. It, it was like barely anything there. That's yeah. true. And then like all of a sudden you see this little thing and then it looked like the doctor just pulled her neck out, the whole body out, right? Yeah, so I'm going to play the audio because I want to play the, I want to play like the clip of the audio of her coming out. Like we'll censor it. So the doctor like pulls her out and like, this is Lily. And like I started crying. Like when that happened, cause like like he he pulled her out and she was like she was just like this big puffy like little baby. Yeah. And then they put on Chili's chest. And my favorite photo is this of Chili when she like when she saw her for the first time. Chili was like looking down at her and big smile. Yeah, the, like it was the most amazing thing I've ever witnessed. I don't know how this came out of you, Chili. <laughs> I don't know. I don't so Chili either. apparently ripped down there and they had to sew it. And I see why because this she just came out. <laughs> Like, it was like a, a little bit of the head, and I'm like, okay, like, she's gonna be a little tiny bit. This thing came out, like, And it's big. also weird, because as soon as a little bit of her head comes out, the whole thing's, like, there. out. It's out. Yeah, no, in the umbilical cord, I don't know if I can show it, it looks like a purple alien, like, not, it looks like something out of Men in Black. It looks like a... Like, it does look like Men in Black! That's the perfect description, it's like purple and gray, and yeah. kind of beady. It looks like, it doesn't look real, it looks like a movie prop. Yeah. I, I, and I, I cut the cord. And it was like, I can have a video of me doing that. So I, can, right here? I can right go. Between them. It's kind of like a gummy bear. Uh, a little tougher. Yeah. Try again. There you go. Oh, she opened her eyes. It's like cutting a gummy bear. Like, literally, like, you just have to, like, saw at it. So that was, I, I don't know. It, did, it still doesn't feel real. It feels like I was on a movie set. Because I don't know mm -hmm. how she came out of you. And it's also weird, like, like she's been, like, this size for, like, the last month. Yeah, sometimes I'll, for the last month. Like, inside you, oh, she was this big. Oh, I thought you meant a born. Yeah, sometimes I'll lay her on my stomach, and I'll be like, there's no way she was in there. Yeah, I have, I still have no idea how she came out of Chile. But, she, so during the pushing, the doctor's not in there while you're pushing. The doctor only comes at the very end. I learned Literally, that, Literally, he was called, like, oh, she has 15 minutes left. She had less than two minutes. He had enough time to put all this blue stuff on her and then just catch the baby. He comes at the very end and a couple more times to just yell at me. Yeah, <laughs> yes, he did yell at you. Yeah, so uh, the doctor only comes in at the end. So the nurse is helping Chili like push, and so he's like, she's like telling Chili only push on the contractions. So Lily's head was almost out of Chili, and the nurse is like, all right, stop pushing. I'll wait for the doctor. And Chili wasn't even having contractions, <laughs> and she was pushing Lily out without a contraction, sure. just pushing and saying, I have to. I feel like I have to push. And the nurse is like, stop. No, the doctor's not here. <laughs> She but, almost looked like she came out. I yeah. swear. She literally like like I saw in the video. She like like put her hand over it. Like yeah. stop. The head was almost out. I mean, honestly, I don't even think it's that graphic. I don't know. Like that. It wasn't. It was not graphic at all. I don't see anything wrong with it. Like, mm -hmm. but obviously you can't upload that. But yeah. it was. I I thought it was so clean when Chili was pushing. I swear she would have crapped. I would have left her. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, because it was so clean. The whole birth was so like pretty. There was no no blood. Like it almost looked fake, right? It looked fake. Like it just. Her, like it just looks so nice. And if she, if she would have shit during it, it would have ruined the whole thing. <laughs> it would have been so pretty. Like the birth would have been so pretty, but then she would have been born to a pile of shit. Because <laughs> they told Chili to push like she was pooping. I said, don't do that. Yeah, what if she poops? The whole time I've ever known Chili, I've never seen her poop. She doesn't do that. I just, I, 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 I've never seen her go to the bathroom. She does it in secret. I like that. I've never smelt the bathroom bad when I walked in there. That's nice. No, she's a, she's a god tier at hiding it. God tier. Look, look, oh, look at her sleep. She loves oh. sleeping with her hands by her face. Yeah, you see that? She's done it at every ultrasound, so I think it's really cute. Yeah, during the 40 ultrasounds, we always she always had her hands by her face. And then now that she's born... Until she had no space in there. And yeah. Then it was by her chin. Yeah, so hands by her face all the time. So if Logan ever swaddles her, she's going to have one hand out. Always. Yeah, so this vlog is being recorded uh, about a week after she was born. Because after she was born, me and Chili only got like two to three hours of sleep like at a time. Yeah, like, and then she like wasn't eating and then she got jaundice and then she got all these things. Yeah, so she had jaundice. That's when you're yellow and uh, you, so you turn into a banana. Okay, so... Let, let me tell you about the worst hell <laughs> I've dealt with since she's been born. She had jaundice, and it was a really bad. So she had to be put under a blue light. I have pictures. And she had to keep this face mask on. And if you notice, she loves her hands by her face. And so she had, you had to put this face mask on her. And you also had to have her under this blue light the whole time. And she loves being held. And so she would sit in this table and cry. And she would always try to pull the, the, the mask off. It was the worst 12 hours of my life. It was because she moves her hands too much. She wanted to pull down the eye mask. And then on top of that, she, she likes to be picked up. She doesn't want to be like sitting in a thing yeah. all by herself. She naked too. Yeah, and she couldn't have any clothes on except for literally a diaper. So yeah. she was miserable. So there's pictures of that. Literally awful. That was the worst ever. But I recorded uh, her first bath, um, which was really fun. Like she loves getting her hair washed. I'll show you that because I didn't show anything bad. Like she loves getting her hair washed. She hates getting a bath though. She likes being stinky. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she does not like being clean. Oh, she thought that was funny. Uh, she she thought that was funny. She was like, I like being stinky. She's like, yeah, you're right. You're right. I like being stinky. So she's our little stinky baby. Now let's go over her name. Uh, her name's Lily Isabella 30 Acre. So her initials are lit. So she can be like, I'm lit. Hopefully you don't do drugs though. If you're watching this when you're 18, don't do drugs. We meant lit like you're really fun. Like lit. I don't know. Just so your friends can be like, oh, your initials are lit. That's lit. Hopefully she doesn't get bullied. <laughs> No, so her name is Lily Isabella 30 Acre. Chili wanted her middle name to be Blossom. I still do. Listen, listen. Her first name is not spelt like a flower. If it was spelt like the flower Lily, because we spell it L-I-L-L-Y because it's Chili and Logan put together. But it wasn't even after that. It was also after, like, it was mainly after the Powerpuff Girls. But listen, but listen. Lily Blossom, if you hear Blossom, you're going to think it's about the flower. And then if her name's not spelt like the flower, Lily, they're going to be like, your parents just always happen dumb. So Lily Isabella sounds more like princessy. Oh, she's like, I wanted it. I want that middle name. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is our little baby. Now, Chili, tell them. Tell, tell them. Tell them how many diapers you've changed since she's been born. I'm going to say eight. What? Yes, it's true. I think you've changed too. Who has changed more diapers, me or you? Oh yeah, you for sure. Yeah. So well, before she was born, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna change a single diaper. That's gross. I don't. I don't think I can do it. And now, since she's been born, I've changed almost all her diapers. But to be fair, I was in a lot of pain afterwards. I changed all her diapers. She, we go to Tinkyville, and <laughs> we also try to set the record every day for the biggest Tinky. Like so, I always change her diaper, and we see if we can break the record for most poop. She hasn't done it in a few days. Actually, no. Yesterday, I would say that's but that's. That's cheating. That is cheating. Yeah. Also, guys, guys, she projectile pooped on him. Okay, so <laughs> since she's been born, she has actually diarrheaed in the air at me. It's got, <laughs> got on my shirt. She's thrown up all over me. Chili saw that. And she's also peed on me. When we were giving her her bath, she uh, peed all down my a, Like, not even a little tinkle. It was just like a, like a waterfall <laughs> yeah. came off of her. It was pretty funny. Okay. So you've peed on me. You've pooped on me. You've thrown up on me. She's done it all. Like, like I, I've gotten the full experience. <laughs> So and, you gotta rub her boogies on you. Yeah, so me and her fall asleep to Monsters Inc. every night. We don't make it past. Uh, we don't make it past the restaurant scene. She'll, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just me and her will lay there, and I'll put on Monsters Inc. and I'll just fall. It's you so, guys think it's really boring. Maybe you guys should change it. No, we like it. And we just. <laughs> We just don't make it past it. And Chili always seems to get a picture of Sully in that one scene. So yeah. we'll show those pictures. Yeah. Um, but yeah, go follow her Instagram because we're going to post pictures of her all the time. 
so that when she's older she can be like dad like my instagram started when i was still inside the womb oh yeah literally yeah so. she went to disney world inside the womb yeah so like she's literally the best baby she only cries when she's hungry she, she like never cries for just no reason she's not like but let's talk about breastfeeding and how aids that was so it's the worst thing to ever exist so here's the thing I don't support breastfeeding. I'm against it. I'm gonna I'm go around I'm against it. <laughs> you know I don't people, think I've ever heard anyone say that. You know those people who go protest circumcisions? I'm gonna go protest breastfeeding. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm gonna have a shirt that says, do you want your baby to starve? <laughs> don't feed them formula. Okay, so Chili, as soon as Lily was born, I said, you're gonna breastfeed. And my mom was like, you should breastfeed for like at least a month or two. And then my aunt was like, you should breastfeed for two years. And, <laughs> That's ridiculous. And I was like, Chili, at least breastfeed for the first month. And Chili agreed. Because we were like, yeah, we, we heard it's healthier and it's, it's better for her. So as soon as Lily was born, Chili tried to breastfeed. And oh my God, babies starve. Like if you breastfeed your kid, they starve to death. That's true. Your boobs don't make enough milk to feed them in the first few days. And they tell you until like day five, right? Yeah, till day five, your boobs just are only making like this little bit. And it, it actually took about that long for, for them to start leaking milk finally. Yeah, so if, if you breastfeed, your baby starves for five days. They, your baby actually loses weight from like its birth weight because it hasn't ate in so long. It, 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 now Chili did breastfeed for like the first day so that Lily could get that yellow stuff what is it called colostrum colostrum whatever whatever that is but then after that we said we're given a formula and she is she is, she's chunky she eats two and a half to four ounces every two to three hours chili's boobs there's no way no no way no. ain't no way she would be because babies only cry when they're hungry so when we were in the hospital i heard babies screaming like death curdling yeah. screaming yeah and we could tell that they were hungry because there's a certain cry that she has when she's hungry yeah yeah and it's so sad and so look right this look at this she good <laughs> she she good if she if she's a D student from formula it's fine I was a D student too we'll be D students okay because we'll be D students together ain't no way that formula if, if formula makes her dumb then I would rather her be dumb and ha and happy than starve to death and being all A student we don't need A students okay yeah but, I agree yeah no because when we were in the hospital at night we, she slept the whole night she was all happy and then I'd hear baby screaming and I'm like I know that woman's trying to like breastfeed <laughs> yeah like, like go in there and just be like look feed her a bottle like but breastfeeding is better i'm protesting you're like <laughs> you're making your baby starve like uh-uh not happening or at least give them formula and then and when your stuff comes in then do the thing but it yeah. was too much work and, and, and don't say well pump your breast pump your breast milk then nothing came no chili was pumping for 30 minutes nothing came out I was like, well, no, she's not starving. Hey, Logan, you're actually lying. 0 0.01 milliliter came out. Remember how ridiculous that was? 0 0.01. And then they put it in a dropper and put it in her cheek. <laughs> yeah, a syringe. Yeah, because it was the col colostrum or whatever yeah, they it took was. a syringe and put it in her cheek. I'm like, ain't no way. We're, no. Oh, man. So anyway, if you're thinking about breastfeeding, don't. Don't. Because yeah. then you're not going to get any sleep. And also... And then I'm going to be the only idiot like feeding Yeah, her. here's the cool thing about formula. I can take the night shift. Chili can sleep all night. I can give her bottles and change her. Like when it's breastfeeding, no. I, I definitely say formula. But I know there's some mom that's going to comment and go, I breastfeed my kids and he's the smartest kid. Okay. Congratulations. I'm glad you did that. I'm glad you made your kids suffer. No, if your titties produce water like a fire hydrant, water... <laughs> Like, like if, milk, yeah. yeah, if your titties produce milk like a fire hydrant, then I would, then Th go for then it. Then I'm happy for then, you. No, I'm glad you can give your baby four ounces every three hours. I'm trying to make sure we go through the whole week. So she's been born for about a week and she eats a lot. She sleeps a lot. She doesn't really cry. So anyway, this is our daughter, Lily. And hopefully I'm going to vlog her growing up. A lot of the vlogs I just want to upload so that she can watch when she's older and be like, look, you know. Look what we did. We celebrated her one week birthday. We, we, we did a lot of cool vlogs. So we're going to be vlogging every single day. So if you guys want to subscribe and keep liking and watching, you can see Lily grow up. And we're not going to do like Ryan's toy reviews. We're not going to be like, open a toy, get us 10 million views. I'm just going to vlog our experience growing up. Because as a dad. We're just going to vlog what we want to yeah. see later in the future. Yeah, when, we're going to vlog. When we're like, what was she doing at a week old or two weeks old? Yeah, we want to be able to watch these. I, I want her to grow up and go back and watch these vlogs and be like, my parents love me. And my parents did everything for me. So we're going to see you guys in the next vlog. Me, Chili, and Lily will see you in the next vlog. So say bye, Lily.